check in on Jalen Hurts and A.J. Brown. They had a quick conversation on the sideline. Nick Sirianni eventually comes over and says, hey, guys, what are you talking to? Uh, at the time, A.J. Brown only had a handful of catches. He finished the game four catches, 29 yards. After the game, here's Sirianni, Devontae Smith, and Jalen Hurts. Take a listen. Everybody wants to make plays and everybody wants to contribute. Um, I have no worry about him. You know, and he's he's a he's a great player, great teammate, great friend. That's part of being a competitor, man. You always want to be a you know feel like you're part of the team, helping the team, and things like that, man. You know, anytime something like that going on, it's not nothing you know bad. He's not bashing nobody, man. He just you know wants to feel a part of the team, wants to you know help us. I don't know. I didn't I didn't see uh, I didn't see what was going on with that. We're just trying to manage the game. You were part of well, the TV show that you kind of interjected there. Okay. Uh, what, what did you have to say to AJ and Jalen? I guess Guys, the, the conversations we have on the field are going to be private, and the conversations we have in in, per, in, uh, in our locker room are going to be private. Uh, y- y'all don't need to know what was going on right there. Okay, <laughs> why are you just lying? We got caught lying. He just caught forgot. red-handed. <laughs> caught, look, th- this this doesn't. I don't think it's a big deal. I think it's nothing yeah. between AJ and Jalen because they're great friends. You know, Jalen was recruiting him to sure. Alabama. Even their teammates kind of refer to him as an old married couple because they're always bickering at each other. So I think those two are fine. What bothers me is Sirianni. Like, just straight up lying. Like, what, coach, I don't get – like, hey, look, he could have said the same thing he ended up saying once he was caught red-handed. Like, hey, what, what goes on between us, we keep between us. Or even just said, those guys are great for – you know, whatever. But – to be caught lying, I, and I think it's not only embarrassing, it looks bad, and the media so, may not trust him now if they trusted him before, but, Coach, to me, it sends the wrong message to your locker room. And I'm not saying they're, they don't like Sirianni or anything, but it, I think as the leader of the team, you've got to be, like, consistent, unapologetic. you got to present a strong front. You know, like the players – even if you're, they know you're up there lying, maybe like Belichick sometimes, just, but you're consistent and you're strong. And this was just blatantly weak. And I, I just that think that that's silly. not a good oh, message to send blatant. to the locker room. I, I've been around some, some disagreements on the sideline that I wasn't part of and got asked about it later. And then at that point, you can say you don't know. It's just, it is tough when you break up the disagreement <laughs> to then feign ignorance like. on it. And the players, I don't necessarily think they'll view it as being weak. He was looking out for him, just trying to di- just get rid of it. You know, so I don't think that's an issue. In terms of the actual disagreement, this, this to me is, is, is not significant. It's one of those things where when guys play on Monday night or Thursday night, they want to show out. They want to have a big game. And when the game becomes just intensely running the football and you're a, you're a marquee receiver, that can get a little bit frustrating. But when you win the game, that all goes away really quickly. And I'd say the thing with A.J. Brown is he probably has a little bit of a challenging personality. That's probably yeah. why he's not in Tennessee anymore. But at the, at the, the end of the day, I think it's more of a Monday night, Thursday night Okay. Want to be, you know, in in the front of mind for for people as opposed to but, a significant yeah. issue. Um, when we had Brandon on the show, Brandon would talk about when he was playing, he was acutely aware that the cameras were on him, so he was aware that anything he do, do did was going to be captured. And then remember when um, uh, Stefan was telling Josh, like, "Hey, be smart with the ball," yeah, yeah, yeah. and we were like, "Oh, that's interesting. Is like good teamwork." Michael Irvin on Undisputed had the opposite take. He said if he did that to Troy, Troy would chew him out in the locker room because you're kind of showing up your quarterback. If you go like this, it means you're actually not using your head right. instead of being encouraging. So my question is, if you're a frustrated wide receiver with your targets or, or the game plan or whatever, and you know the cameras are on you, what are you supposed to do without it having be a, become a story the next day? Well, you can have a conversation with someone without it being confrontational. You, you can disagree without being disagreeable. Right. And I know there's the heat of the moment thing. And, and, and we used to talk to quarterbacks all the time where they'd point, they'd point to the receiver after the play, like, hey, you go. Don't do that. You don't need to tell the crowd that you think the receiver ran the wrong route because the receiver's not pointing back and like, hey, that was a lousy throw. Um, and, and you don't want that dynamic on the sideline. Everybody should be protecting everybody else. 
and just trying to get to the right point. When you do things like this, it ends up being a disruptive and it ends up taking away yeah. from a really a positive like win. Coaches wise, when I have to, when Brew has to tell me something. Yeah, like just, yeah you just wild, you we're like LeBron. Yeah, yeah you <laughs> screwed up. Or the you just go, hey, I, I didn't see that. <laughs> I, I didn't don't know what happened. I mean, quickly, coach, can can it? I mean, we remember last year AJ Brown in the playoff win, he was pouting because he wasn't getting the ball. Can that eventually wear on teammates? So if I'm Devontae yes. Smith or I'm the running backs, I'm like, dude, we're winning. Like, Devontae, there's been games where he's kind of left out because Goddard and A.J. Are, are clicking, and he's not doing this. I, I've been around receivers that have big personalities, and it didn't matter what the coverage was, they were open. You go to the sideline, and then you say, I, I was wide open. You're like, you're double covered. There's no chance you're going to get – I was open. Like it's, <laughs> that was the answer to everything. I'm open. Just throw it. I'm open.